The share allotment for Indian Railway Finance Corporation's IRFC initial public offering IPO will be finalized on Wednesday, according to the website of the registrar Caffeine Technologies Private Limited. It may be noted that Caffeine Technologies is in charge of managing the share allocation and refund process for the public issue. The IRFC IPO, which was the first of the calendar year, had received a good response after opening earlier this month. It was subscribed nearly 3.5 times. The 4,633 crore IRFC IPO opened on January 18 and closed on January 20. This is the first IPO by an NBFC in the public sector. How can you check allotment status? Investors who had placed bids for the IPO can check the allotment status on the website of Caffeine Technologies Private Limited or BSE. To check the allotment status on the website of Caffeine Technologies, individuals have to click on the IPO status section, once the allotment is finalized. Under the section, select the IRFC IPO and enter the application number or DPID client ID or PAN. In case of application number, remember to select the application type and then enter the number. If you choose the DPID client ID box, elect the depository from the drop-down option and enter DPIP and client ID. And if you opt for the PAN option, just enter the PAN number. The final step is to enter the given capture and click on Submit. Investors can also visit the BSE website to view details of the allotment. Click here and select the issue type as equity and the issue name as Indian Railway Finance Corporation Limited from the drop-down option. Enter the application number or PAN and click on search to view the allotment status details. Key details about the IRFC IPO IRFC is the dedicate funding arm of the Indian Railways. The company is likely to use the proceeds from the IPO towards improving its equity capital base in order to meet its future capital requirements towards growth and other purposes. It may be noted that the offer received bids for 4, 35, 22, 57,225 shares against 1, 24, 75, 05, 993 shares on offer. The retail segment was subscribed 3.66 times, while it was 3.78 times for the QIB category and 2.67 times for non-institutional investors. After the IPO, the government's shareholding in IRFC will come down to 86.4% from 100%. The price band of the IPO was fixed at as 25 to 26 per share. The IPO of up to 178.20 crore shares consisted of a fresh issue of up to 118.80 crore shares and an OFS of up to 59.40 crore shares. The lead book running managers of the IPO were Dam Capital Advisors Limited, HSBC Securities and Capital Markets, India, ICICI Securities and SBI Capital Markets. The government is expected to earn 1,544 crore rupees from the IRFC IPO. When the IPO was launched, many brokerage houses recommended investors to subscribe to the IPO in view of the company's valuation and healthy return ratios.